Relatable. 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 Hi there. So I'm editing this right now, and I just realized that while I finally figured out that I need to talk into my microphone straight on instead of, or as it upright instead of straight on, I also had it backwards. So I promise on the next podcast I will have much better audio. Apologies. This is clearly trial and error. I am not tech savvy. So do you notice what your name is and what my name is on here? Buff Baldy. <laughs> Did you do that? No. You came up like that. I was wondering I when know. it came, it said Buff Baldy is signing on. And I was like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that happened. Wait, you really don't? No. Do you have like an alias that you go by after hours? Like, do you have another <laughs> job that I don't know about? <laughs> you know, it's it's hard paying for all this. Uh, Are you ro- romancing this, people? This equipment. <laughs> Buff, bald, Dylan. I'm, Is there something you're not telling me? I'm known as a handsome companion. <laughs> handsome companion. That's a really That's good right. idea. Handsome I do. <laughs> I do everything that uh that you know a male hooker does except the banging. I'm a handsome companion. It's all it's all nice dinners with old ladies. I almost believe this right now because I there's no other explanation for <laughs> Buff Baldy. I don't know. I don't know where it came from. What kind the only of thing Zooms I can think are you of, attending? Just ones with friends. So they might have gone through there and just gave everybody a funny nickname. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A likely story. I don't. I don't do internet. I don't do these like internet chats with people. I don't know. No, Dolan. Yeah. Baldy says otherwise. Because you never know. You never know who's <laughs> out there and what's out there. Nope. You never know. Oh, are you Buff Baldy now? I'm pretty sure that title's on me. No, my title's just Angela Rodarty. <laughs> Okay. Well, with that, um, hi, welcome to Relatable, episode six. I'm Angela. I'm Dylan. We're related. <laughs> if you didn't we are related by now. Um, I think the only people that watch this are related to us, which, hey, thank you. Shout out to the relations. Shout out to his family. <laughs> Good looking out. Yeah. But, uh, which speaking of, I was going to tell you, I may have told you already that mom said that in the last episode, she found a curse word said, and she was like, you owe Dylan money. You curse, you owe Dylan money. You curse. And I told her that apparently that the- she didn't listen all the way through and that no. she gets the money. Yeah. Because you didn't catch me. I was like, you need to go on there, write the timestamp in the comments if you're the first one to tell me where i cursed you get five dollars the offer still stands no one has said anything so i told her that but apparently she doesn't want five dollars that bad money is money i would be on that shit that's what i'm saying gotta hustle but that doesn't count for this episode <laughs> oh why are you ready to just potty mouth it up well i just said the sh word i'm still trying not to curse as much but i didn't even hear it that's how desensitized we are. I'm going to have a glass of rosé oh. this morning. Okay. Rosé, okay. Don't mind. I don't mind. <laughs> Wait, so Esteban, we were saying on the last one, I wanted to have Esteban come on. And, He's sleeping. Uh, no, I heard him yelling at the cat. Yeah, because he's trying to sleep. Oh, he was yelling from upstairs? Yeah. Oh, it sounds like he's in the living room with you. Oppa. It's because he's directly <laughs> behind me. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. But he didn't want to prove that Captain no. Crunch doesn't cut up the roof of your mouth? No. Why? Because he just doesn't. <laughs> That's not his thing. I, th- I thought he wanted to make a point. He he's also technically already made the point because, like I said, we've done it before. I'm pretty sure we had like two whole bowls, and yeah, he says it didn't. So I'm like, all right. 
I still think we need to test this theory. Oh, yeah. Get you with your fancy little goblet. I love these little glasses. I got these from Grandma. So fancy. So fancy. <laughs> well, that sucks. So I guess we won't know if Captain Crunch truly does cut up the roof of your mouth. That's right. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, not yet. We may find out later. Is is today actually Pokemon Day? Is today the anniversary? Uh, no, I believe yesterday was the anniversary. Because yesterday is when they had the, um, the like, stream uh, detailing all of the brand new uh, Pokemon information. Well, what what is Pokemon Day? It's the day that Pokemon originally released in Japan, which yeah was I'm pretty sure it was February 26th. Okay, yeah, it is. Pokemon is 25 years old now. 25 years since the release of Pokemon Red and Green. Yep, the OGs. Those were the OGs, but wasn't there a Pokemon? There wasn't a Pokemon game before that, but I had Pokemon Blue. Yeah, so when they released Pokemon over here. Um, basically anywhere outside of Japan, mm -hmm. um, the new Pokemon Red version and Pokemon Blue version were actually like patched updates of the original games. So like they put in they put in more fixes, they updated some sprites, oh. and then they released that to the rest of the world. Oh, yeah, because you know, because like we think about it now, and nowadays it's so easy to get like an update or a patch for something because it's just like. Oh, do you want this? Just click yes. We'll download it over Wi-Fi. But yeah, no, back in the day, if you wanted, if you wanted patches and updates, like you had to that wasn't that way. Well, I mean, it, it just wasn't really a thing. Like you basically you made the product as best as you could and then you released it and you were just like, hmm. That's also why, like, um you remember back in the day they had the little rare candy glitch where you could uh you could or that's what people called it but you could swim up and down an island and then you would get like a, uh, an absorbent oh. amount of items uh -huh. that's because they can never patch that cuz like the games yep. released the games out there there's nothing they can do to to change that it's also yeah. really interesting how how that happens yeah so back in our day back in our day that's right that we we had glitches that couldn't be fixed that's right. You just Imagine dealt with it in that world. <laughs> I what was your most rare Pokemon card that you had? Because we were talking about how there's this like resurgence of Pokemon cards, like people buying like well, they're buying these boxes. It's supposed to be like all of the first generation cards mm -hmm. unopened, and these super crazy rich YouTuber kids are like buying them and unpackaging them. But they're buying them for like three hundred thousand dollars for well, a first box off, you said, first generation. You said unopened. That's yeah. They're un. They're, well, they're packages. Have you seen it? Yeah, they're the it, original little sleeves that come in ten cards. Mm -hmm. I haven't actually. I haven't actually watched anybody do it, so I I'm not sure. Actually, well, I thought I was gonna see H three uh, on the H three podcast. Uh, Ethan and Ela open some but mm -hmm. i don't know if you caught that episode i didn't i didn't end up getting all the way through it i yeah. had i had stuff come up and then i was like ah oh, snap I they went it. to open them they've spent they spent three hundred thousand dollars per box and they bought two boxes so they spent over half a million dollars on this and they went to open the boxes which were covered in saran wrap which was not a good sign number one yeah and they went to open it and the first box had a bunch of uh robin hood cards in it oh man they got so <laughs> it was a bunch of robin hood like the movie the movie that came out what maybe what in like the 90s or something like they made collector's cards of that movie that's so sad and then another one, I think it was Project Desert Storm cards was in the other one. A bunch of unopened Desert Storm cards. But they were really stoked because they got a bunch of these Commander in Chief cards. Now, uh, with, uh, with um, who is that? Is that uh, George Bush Sr., I think? Yeah, on them. Um, 
and they were like whoa because they were each worth 30 dollars, so they had like three of them they're like yes they're trying to make the best out of it <laughs> they're trying to but make their I, money back yes but i am so curious to find out what is gonna Ours come wouldn't. out of that like how do you get your money back because even when you're buying stuff from weird people online if someone's gonna do something shady like depends that depends on the website they're probably really good at covering their tracks so you can't find them after they get the money Oh yeah, probably not. And yeah, it would it would depend on the website. Half a million dollars, Dylan. I think they bought it on eBay. Don't quote me on that. Yeah. A half yeah, a no, million as for, dollars. As for our card, yeah, I don't, I don't want to think about that because that just like hurts. That hurts my soul. Ugh. But you know, our cards wouldn't be worth anything near that because all of our cards were open. No. Yeah, they're open. So, but what I'm saying is, that, I bet that you totally know, decreases the value. I, I understand, but if we could even just each make a thousand bucks off of it, I would be happy. Whoa, I don't sell my Pokemon stuff. Well, I gave my, mine to you, so that's what I'm trying to talk you into selling your Pokemon, quote unquote. I'm a Pokemon fan through and through. Do you know how many silver versions I own? Wait, I, I mean own silver versions. four. So <clears throat> another thing back in the day, the Game Boy cartridges had batteries in them. And mm-hmm. the, the battery is what kept the memory card going. So if the battery died inside of your cartridge, you would lose the memory. Oh, inside of the... Inside of the cartridge. I didn't know there was a battery in the cartridge. There is a battery inside. And so apparently, I don't know what it was about the gold and silver ones, but their batteries just weren't as good. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I, I then, throughout my lifetime, I've purchased about three or four of that exact same game because the cart the batteries would always die whereas my red version that i got back uh in the release year which i think it was 97 over here yeah in the us um that red version still kicking it's got all 151 pokemon on the pokedex i think the last time i did that was five years ago and i was like all right i'm never touching this again it's it's my baby that's my, pretty exciting. My first actual game. I've played through that game so many times too. No, well, that one was fun. I liked that one. I played through most of it. I <laughs> I had my first game was Zelda with the wait wait the whoa, 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 whoa. my Game Boy Color, Zelda, The Waking of the Windfish. But I kept getting to this one level where the sixth you're dungeon. In, I think, yeah, the sixth dungeon, and it's like a bunch of like KV stuff, and I can't get past it. I've revisited this once every two to three years, and I can't get past it. And I just want to wake the freaking wind fish because I only have a few more dungeons left. And Didn't I can't you already wake do it? Damn wind fish. No, I haven't wakened the wind fish because I can't get past the dungeon. You you get a different. Um, I even told you, I'm pretty sure I told you what it was. The wind fish to wake it up. No, you yeah. told me and I went and I still like it's there's something in there. You that just I'm still missing. haven't found it. Yeah, and you're and you get because I told you it was an instrument. A, it was a bomb wall that you were missing. You just no, had to drop a I, bomb to blow it up. I went to that and I still was stuck. You gotta trust me when I tell you I tried it all. This wind fish is not waking up. Problems for gamers. <laughs> Problems yeah, for since, 90s gamers. <laughs> since that original release, she has still not beaten this game. I've never beaten one game ever. It's okay. I'm not mad about it. Yeah, do you know how many times I've played through Pokemon Red version? A lot. Oh, probably a ton. But then what about Pokemon Yellow? Pokemon Yellow, I didn't do as much. I didn't enjoy it. Yeah. Because it, it was the, just the... fun to have a Pikachu follow you around. See that the was problem the was was exciting part of it. <clears throat> if you were like a super big fan of the anime, that was cool. But mm-hmm. like the fact that you couldn't evolve it was kind of a bummer. Um, and since we didn't own a Nintendo sixty four, we weren't able to get any of the cool like. So if you had a Nintendo sixty four, and you had Pokemon Stadium, you could buy a uh, a little attachment, an accessory that would plug into the n64 controller oh, and you could that. put your game cartridge in there so that way you could use your pokemon from game boy on pokemon stadium so with yellow version you could also if you i think you had to have pikachu in your party um 
going through like whatever was in Pokemon Stadium, when you would mm-hmm. beat certain like levels and stuff, you could then teach that Pikachu moves that it shouldn't know, like surf or fly. Um, and then if you did that, there were, I think there was only one mini game, but you could take your Pikachu if he knew surf to do this little surfing mini game, which was just him surfing on a wave. And that was that was pretty much it. It was adorable, but um, actually, let me see if I can pull that off. Pikachu surfing on a wave. I, f- I feel like I remember all of these things. Because but... the other the other cool thing was that um, you you could use you could basically play your Game Boy on your TV also because they had like a they called it the the Doduo Game Boy. And then when mm-hmm. you beat like the Elite Four or whatever in Pokemon Stadium, you got the Dodrio. So you could basically play Pokemon and you could increase the speed two times or three times, mm-hmm. which made like leveling and getting through places way faster. I only know that because now as an adult, uh, one of my friends gave me an extra N64 he had and mm-hmm. I immediately bought Pokemon Stadium. <laughs> I immediately bought that accessory and I was like, oh, this feels so good. I was like, young me is so jealous right now that I get to play this. Isn't that one of the great things about being an adult is being able to buy things for yourself that you want, that, you know, if you were a kid, you would be like, oh, this is so cool. Yeah. That's how we felt getting the, um... oh, excuse me, lots of bubbles. <clears throat> excuse me. And <laughs> buying the uh, Oculus for Christmas the VR headset and you can play all these games and it's so fun. I have to show you the video. I didn't upload it. I'll have to show it next time, but I had mom put, put it on. Uh, you, got, you got her to play something. Almost. I put, I put her on this thing called Richie's plank experience. So you put the <laughs> headset on and you have to walk into this elevator and the elevator takes you all the way up to the top floor and then once you're on the top floor, you have to walk this plank and you just see the city below you. She wouldn't get out of the elevator. Oh, I she freaking bet. She was so upset. And she's like, Angela, make it stop. Make she was just stop. probably she like wouldn't... super scared of potentially falling I... out. Well, she wouldn't even look down. I was like, just look down. No, 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 no. I was like, do you want to try the flying one? She didn't want to fly. She didn't want to do anything. She was so like, oh, she was a little bump on a log. It's okay though. I she'll play it one day. Maybe if you come and play, she'll play. But it was mm. funny. I'll have to find the video. It was pretty good. All right, let me see if I can get. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna share the sound on this just in case. I'm just gonna share oh, the. Yeah. Uh... Oh. Here but yeah, me. so this. Oh. You went to my you went to Fuchsia word. City. Wow, taking me back. Yep. And so then when you're in Future City, you just go all the way down here. Look at that. Wait, are you to the walking? Beach. That's that's not me. How did you this get it to video. Just share the video part? Because I'm not seeing anything but just the video. Because I have my I put it on full screen. Oh, oh what that right. picture doesn't know surf. Oh, this dude over here. Come on, Chris. Wow. This is like old school. Dogs and burgers on special today. Dogs. Oh, I was like, they're eating dogs on this game. That's right. <laughs> Hot dogs. They're I was eating, like, oh, they're eating growlis. They're eating growlis and arcanines. Hold on, this guy's. What are you so doing, dude? We've got Ash walking around on an island. So and yeah, you also oh, got a special. Oh, I see. And Pikachu's on a little surfboard. Look at him go. Woo woo woo. So this woo, wasn't woo, the mini game, but yeah, sure. Pikachu got his own special sprite for that. Um. A sprite? What do you mean a sprite? So this right here is called a sprite. What is a sprite? Pikachu? Yeah, Pikachu's a sprite. This girl is a sprite. That's what just what sprite? they call. That it's it's basically what you call like in any of these like these little logs are sprites. This house is a sprite. Like that was just what they used for um, images back in the day. They would use sprites and sprite is sheets. A sprite. So those it, are like the items that show up in Yeah, everything that's showing up here. So the, this Pikachu, this character, right. this, yeah. Like items you would have to technically items or people you'd have to like walk around that you can't walk through. 
Does that make sense? I mean, pretty much, concern? pretty much, pretty much everything on here. Yeah, would be a sprite, like the walls, the floor, every because that would that was what where the technology was at the time for us to be able to display things. Hmm. Um, but yeah, the so this would be. Pika! <laughs> goodness come on man so what are you gonna show me on this one i was trying to show you the actual mini game this dude's killing oh me. wait mm. yeah your pikachu no surf and you got that through pokemon stadium wow. and so yeah you get you get a surf with the dude <laughs> give it a go yeah, this kid's gonna give it a go. Are you just surfing? Oh, use control. No, this. Oh, I this is the surfing mini game. game on this. Yeah. Oh, okay. I did not play this. Yep, and that's all you did. And it's a little Pikachu surfing on the waves. And this was entertainment at the age of eleven and twelve. We were not putting on makeup, ladies. We were not doing weird TikToks, boys. We were playing Pikachu surfing on little waves. That's right. We were real kids. Kids today are not kids, but I'm not even going to go down that road because I can't stand kids today. So, yeah, that was a. Uh... That is cool. That's really awesome. Well, yeah, big fan. A big fan. I did big when fan. I when I Pokemon well, big fan. When I finally did that, I played it a lot because I was like, "This is so cool." <laughs> well, we ended up buying one of those Nintendo consoles that they came out with. That's supposed to have like all of the old Nintendo games on it. Mm -hmm. And I remember when we got it, I was like, "This is going to be hours of entertainment," and we plugged it in, and it was fun for like an hour, like. We played the Super Mario, is it three? With, with, that has him like with the little raccoon ears. And yeah, the little that's tail. Super Mario Bros. 3. And then he goes to all the islands and stuff. He always so, goes to all the islands, but yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Will and I played that one where you take turns. Like you can play two players and each player takes a turn to go on a level. And we went to a bunch of islands and we beat all these levels really fast and it was fun. Yeah, level three or Super Mario Brothers 3 is one with the cards at the end, right? Yeah. Okay. And it was really fun, but we played it once and we haven't touched it again. Because yeah, that was the that was the one we had growing up. We had the Yeah. We had the first one and we had the third one. Because no one ever talks about the second one. It's taboo. I don't even know what the second one was. Good. <laughs> but yeah, we played it one time and that was about it. That was the excitement and that was the only game you played i've we'll been trying to find other ones i've been trying to find that t-ball game or that little league game that we used to play mm. with dad do you remember how freaking fun that was yeah that game was freaking awesome it was I like the, it was like the little league world series mm -hmm. on on the on the nintendo oh Dad yeah, was the only was one fun. to figure out then, how to do all the freaking all the sneaky shit. He learned how to steal bases and crap. Yeah, and he would. Mm. Well, then when you would you would get really mad where I would do the thing where I would hit you with the ball when I would pitch to you, and you would get so pissed like stop hitting me with the ball, and I'd be like, ha, 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 even yeah, though it was she, bad for me. Yeah, even though she's so even though she's loading me up on the bases, <laughs> I'd be super upset, not understanding, and she'd just be like, ha ha, you loser, I hit you with the ball. <laughs> I win. <laughs> we should play. We haven't played Halo in forever. Remember playing Halo, and then you'd go in invisible mode, and uh, and if I mean you were really good at it, I didn't have you a lot were of really good at it, and you were killing I have a us lot of friends that would come over at that time to play with me, just like so one or two of the neighborhood way. kids. So I always tried to get Angela and our dad to play with me, and. <laughs> The only times I ever would, they were always like, okay, it's me and your sister against you. And I'd be like, okay, fine. And it was basically you were that good at it. It was basically who either I could get to the, the, the kill limit or they killed me once. 
because yeah, once they once killed me, we win. they just flipped out and they threw a party and they were like, ah, in your face, in your face, you're we're dead. Done. We, we got won. you. We won. Yeah, that was that was basically what they did. And so I would get very, very competitive because then I'd be like, okay, I can't die. I got to get to 25 kills first. <clears throat> Oh yeah, Dylan would be sniping us left and right, and I and then I would like get the invisible cloak, and like that was the only way that I could do anything was going invisible. But then at the same time, you have to remember we're all looking at the same TV screen, so if we wanted to cheat, all you have to do was the look classic. at the screen to see where someone is. The classic, don't be so, a screen looker. Yeah, you had to like you're on the scout's honor. That's but, right. You know. <laughs> or what about? Um, do you remember playing Goldeneye? all the time oh my God. yeah With Jared i remember and playing golden eye and that was i just it was more like hide it was virtual hide and seek is how Pretty i much. always felt about it like golden eye was the shit that was the best i really oh. liked that one and, and then uh, surprisingly i've never been a fan of like the um the like real life racing games like forza or anything like that um i've always been more of a fan of like the cartoony racing games that you yeah. do with friends like mario kart diddy kong racing uh diddy kong, <laughs> kong racing uh what was it snowboard kids that was another one um you were literally just downhill racing on snowboards super fun um there was also one that we used to play on the GameCube a lot. That was like futuristic, like motorbikes, and you had like guns and stuff. I don't know, but it, basically anything like that, I always really enjoyed as far as racing games went, because I was more in it for like the fun of just being like "ha" ah, in your face than <laughs> just pretending like I'm a NASCAR driver. Just like, yeah. Yeah, playing those kind. Well, wait, yeah. can I t can I take you back even farther? Or Midnight to... Club. Midnight Club. That sounds like Twisted adult. Metal. Oh. I don't know any of this <sighs> stuff. See, this is why you need to bring a guest on that understands what you're talking about because I don't know what the Twisted heck you're Metal about. on the PlayStation. So that was when um that was when Grandpa had Javier living with him in in Great Grandma's house. Mm -hmm. and i remember he had a playstation and i got to play twisted metal and that's when i got to play the first tomb raider too and i was like oh, oh. i was like whoa these graphics oh. are amazing is it true that most <laughs> guys had crushes on laura croft in tomb raider when they were like i mean maybe the game i don't know because someone i was watching was talking about that they were like oh are you kidding me like look Probably. at this and then it's like this like old very like computer not human looking but she had like that shape and they're like man when i was a kid i was just Ooh, like wow look that at gets this. me all hot and bothered <laughs> look at those uh, hey, hey. yeah no that was <laughs> i was I gonna say look at those aunt listens to this i was you gonna gotta... say look at those pixels okay <laughs> look at those pixels yeah look Look at those <laughs> juicy pixels. Because <laughs> I was gonna say that was the joke that they made in a that movie Grandma's Boy. Was like he stayed at he stayed at his friend's house, and then he was like, "Oh man, I can't sleep." And then he's like looking around, and of course, because they're all like QA testers for a game company, the guy sleeps in a race car bed, and he has like a bunch of toys and stuff. And the guy looks around, and he sees a Laura Croft one. And he's like, "Oh, Laura, okay." No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't seen Grandma's Boy, it's classic. Although oh uh, that's what I always get compared to now whenever I tell people that I've been trying to do game development. They're like, oh, like Grandma's Boy? And I'm always like, mm, kind of, but not really. I'm like, so you know the bad guy in Grandma's Boy? That's what I'm trying to be. Because <laughs> he was the game developer. Uh, everyone else in that was like a QA. Watch it again. Actually, no, I take that back. The um, the main character, he also was developing his own game on the side. So yeah, never mind. I take oh. that back. I am like the main character. I gotta watch this. I'd rather be like him than be like the, the bad guy because the bad guy was a freaking nerd that dressed up like he was in the Matrix. 
and he thought he was a robot. He was like, mm, I have no oh, feelings. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> I want to say his name was like boy. JP or something. Hold on. Let me pull, pull up these. Yeah, images. grandma's boy. Hold on. Let me share, share that screen. Because I think that was also, that was the first time I ever saw um, the girl from, yeah, from Freaks and Geeks. Who, that girl? Yeah. Freaks and Geeks, and then she played Velma and Scooby Doo. Um, oh yeah. Well, wait, and then <laughs> the doctor. So this guy <laughs> with the shirt over his head. Uh huh. So you know he. Oh had, yeah, man. Yeah, he. So he has been all over the place, but he was in the desert for a while, and we have a collective group of friends that would see him around and actually like hung out with him and drank with him like he was always just like yeah yo like let's hang out let's party and then i also heard the same stories about this guy in hollywood I what his name what's that guy's name dude he was like freaking everywhere like someone in hollywood was like oh yeah the dude from grandma's boy like we hung out with and i'm like that's freaking everyone awesome everyone says that yeah this see guy that guy like right Alan there Manson. yeah that was that was jp that was the like main developer Gross. on the game that they worked at yeah here we go Oh. oh my gosh, Angela, it's your doppelgangers. No. <laughs> uh, and I say this with like, man, no, wait, why do we look alike? No. <laughs> look at this. Yeah, that's pretty spot Ew. on. That's <laughs> pretty spot on. If I erase my eyebrows, I'm going to take a picture Don't and I'm going to erase my eyebrows. I have to look like a lot of sadness. Jeez. I have to look like I I like to um, do bad things to people. There's a lion on the loose. <laughs> a lion. Wow! <laughs> wow! Ooh, ooh. Okay, wait. Um, no, I was gonna just show you this. Let Let's take Let's take a trip back in time for a second. Oh, we've been doing that. That's what this let's has been. This has been. Back in time. This is. Uh, what is this episode six? The nostalgia trip. This is the nostalgia trip. So let me take you a little further well. back in time into the 90s when families had one computer per family. One computer. It did was we have a computer, a computer in the 90s? Or, did, or was it not until 2000? Late 90s. Late 90s. Was it late 90s? I want to say it was like 98. Should we phone really? a friend? Should we phone a friend? Yeah, phone mom. Okay. I assume phone mom's the friend. Yeah. Uh, how do I share? <laughs> Mom! Mom! Computer! Invite. When we get it? Copy invite link. But how do you... Okay, so I'm oh, going to call just gonna, in. Yeah, I was literally just going to call her. Oh, okay. You can call her. Do, do, and tell do. her that she's on the air. Oh, I But will. yeah, we. I want to say it was like 98, but back in the day... I mean, I feel like the only no one young enough to know this stuff or to under, not understand watches this anyway. Yeah, no. But we only had one computer per family. Sorry, all these bubbles. And they took up a lot of space. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, they took up a lot of space. Oh. It was either in a public place or in our case, it was in our parents' bedroom. Yeah, because obviously, like, you know, they need. Oh, mom didn't pick up. That's yeah. a first. Well, that's fine. She... I feel so unloved. <laughs> I know, and she complains about how you never call her. You finally that's right. She doesn't answer. There we go. There's my excuse. You saw it. Well, mom, first. I tried to call you, and what happened? You didn't mm. even pick up. So back in the day, we only had one computer in our parents' bedroom. It was the dial-up to get on AOL, but before even AOL. That's right. Like you couldn't, mom would couldn't buy pick us. up the phone. Couldn't had, pick up the phone. You picked up the phone. You ruined the internet connection. And you would buy, if you bought a program for your computer, it came, I don't even have anything near me big enough. It came in a package that looked like a giant Bible almost. It was like about that big. And it came with the CD for the game you were going to play with a giant manual. We had like what, Jumpstart First Grade, Merriam-Webster's oh. Dictionary. Okay, okay we, yeah, we, we did. I forgot so about that. That the most exciting thing on our computer for a while was Merriam-Webster's Dictionary. 
oh no the cockroach we is trying to eat me and then was it on Miriam Webster's that had the, I feel like the it was cockroach that. with the yeah. soup? I'm pretty sure. Okay. I'm pretty sure that was Miriam Webster's. Wait one second. Um, Back in the day when our entertainment used to come from Captain Crunch boxes. Do you remember the Captain Crunch Berry game where you you bought the you bought the Captain Crunch and then you got the the disc to play the Captain Crunch game? It was like a crossword puzzle in soup with a roach. And if you clicked the cracker next, I can't even find it. I, this would take literally me digging. Oh, bomb's calling back. Oh, Here okay. Hold on. Hi, mom. You are on the Relatable Redardis podcast with Angela and Dylan. Just letting you as a letting you know as a heads up, we had a question for you. If that's okay. All right. All right. So, do you remember what year we got the family computer? A family. Computer. Yeah. The first computer we had ever. Yeah, the, 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 the first computer we had. Was it like maybe 98? Um, I think it was a Windows 98. Was... I mean, it could have been in 90, like the Windows. The like 1990s? Like, yeah, like Ask 98. Her if it was a Windows 98. Well, yeah, of course it was a Windows 98 because that was the only like software, oh. software back then. Okay, so yeah, like 98 then. Uh, actually, it was Windows ninety five. So yes, yeah, so oh, we were in that neighborhood. Windows ninety five. We were. Whoa. We were before that. Okay, cool. Okay, and just it was wondering. A Bell. Yeah, pa- I remember that. Packard Bell. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Glad I could be of some assistance. Oh yeah, don't worry. We'll, we'll I'll call you back later, Ma. Okay. All right. Love you. Bye. Love you too. Bye. Windows ninety five. That is wild. Okay. So what I was getting to, sorry, I'm like lagging and getting to my story, but there was, we would play the games on there and there was a capture the flag game with these like hover craft things that you drive around. You don't I don't remember, remember that, that one. one. I'll find that. That game was really cool. I remember mom and dad would play that all the time. Mom was always on solitaire, oh, yeah. but mom this, killed solitaire. this particular game I must say, let me just make sure there's no commercials. Of course, there's freaking commercials for this freaking game. Skip ads. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Close your eyes. Hold on. I just have to airplane no holy crap do it's you remember ski free oh my gosh and the freaking yeti and you would you were this little person on a slope and there was a freestyle so there were all these different slopes and you used your mouse to control which way this little skier would go oh and you had to catch these rainbows what happened if you got a rainbow oh you'd go really fast if you caught a rainbow yeah they were they were, like, basically, they were like jumps yeah and you have to be careful like you don't want to hit a tree you don't want to pull, you know, a Sunny Bono, God rest his soul. Which, by the way, hey, fun fact. I don't remember the trees burning. I don't remember the trees burning either. Oh, that's pretty great. Um, Not to be morbid, but, you know, in terms of like, you know, here's a celebrity relation in our family. Dad is buried not, not even farther than maybe like 15 feet from Sunny Bono, maybe 20 feet. That's right. Celebrity status. Anyway, so yeah, you'd play this game. You were this little guy skating down, but I'm looking. So, and, and it was really fun, but the scariest part is that if you didn't get down this mountain fast enough, which I don't know if I ever actually, I don't think, I don't think think there was an ever actual end. Yeah. Right. Cause if you don't go fast enough, I mean, this person is really good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go back a little bit. Yeah. Like right there. But if, oh, there is a finish line. Okay, so you would. Finish. What the heck? Man, but we just sucked at that. A week. I don't know if I ever hit the finish. Maybe I hit it before, maybe once. But if you don't hit the finish line, this really scary thing happens. And we're. Oh, I can't. Like find how they it. say eaten by the gremlin. That is a not yeti. a gremlin. It is a yeti. This yeti comes out. It was a yeti, Rick. And I remember even the feeling of waking up on a Saturday morning and playing this and you're playing and then all of a sudden you crash and the Yeti comes to eat you and just screaming at the top of my lungs like, no! and then I can't, God, where's the fucking Yeti? Oh, remember there were dogs on the track. Yep. Oh, where is it? Come on, come on. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Replay. More. Replay. No, no, no. More than that. Yeah, here he comes. You see that? And then he just eats you. <laughs> like you're just skating along, minding your own business, loving your life, and all of a sudden, and all of a sudden, here he comes, and he just eats your ass. And that guy was going really fast too. You said you said the A word. I know I said the S word twice and the A word once that I know of oh, already. Crap. But we're not doing this for money this time. Maybe next time. I need to get a job. I'm going to finally so have $5. I can't do this every episode. I'll go broke. That's true. <laughs> but yeah, ski free. I remember that. But let me find, hold on. It was a Windows Hovercraft game. But like we used to play on the Merriam-Webster dictionary, I remember, and we found this one, like we would literally go through this dictionary or this encyclopedia and it had, because we would have to use it for school. So anytime you did like a school project, we would, uh, for me anyway, I was three yeah. years ahead, four years ahead of you in school. So I would three go on, huh? No, yeah, four years. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, because December, I forgot. Mm -hmm. So I would have to go on to do like my reports, but just for fun, we would go through here and we found like, remember there was one Native American tribe and you would hit, cause they would have like little sound bites for you too. Like if it was an animal, they'd let you hear what sounds they make. But there was this one Native American tribe and you would hit the play button and they had the song and they're like, yo, yo, Yes, I do that? remember that. Yes, and I was obsessed with it and I would play it all the time. I was like, Yoki, Yoki, but it, way better than how I'm singing it. But Dylan and I would sit there. And, this is the stuff that kids from the 90s did. Okay, hover for Windows 95. All right, mom knows what she's talking about. Let me open this up. up, 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 up. Ooh, and no commercials. All right, share screen. Here we go. Do you remember this game, Dylan? Oh. This game. Yeah, I remember this. I'd get freaking lost all the time. Yeah, and you'd have to like capture all the flags before everyone else. This map below was a really sad excuse for like trying to find all of the flags and things that you needed to capture. But I remember mom and dad would play this all the time and then we would play it once we kind of figured out what we were doing but this was the 90s man these are the things we did in the 90s but i remember it was always the weekends because we would have to wait you know if mom and dad were playing anything you'd have to wait for them to be done and then get ready for their day and then you're like all right usually i feel like even sundays like they would be getting ready for church and you and i would have to fight over who got to play but we'd go back and forth Those were some, some crazy times. Hover that for Windows skybox. 95. That was crazy. Yeah, the nostalgia episode. Oh my God, wait. Sorry, I have to show you one more thing. This was is it, so the sad. Jump start, the the, the jumpstart fifth grade? No, but jumpstart fifth grade was fun. But do you remember playing on paint? Uh, like, this is excuse also you, how old I, we are. We would play on paint. I still play on paint. Thank you. For, <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, you do? Oh, you need yeah. to submit some of your drawings. Mm, we'll see. Like this. Do you remember? This was like, this was like before uh, Photoshop. This was like, this was it, man. Yeah, no, like at work when I need, when we need like random things or uh, if we have like a button that the UI is wrong on. Mm -hmm. And we're like, okay, someone needs to talk to the UI team to ask them to get this. I'll like quickly whip something up and pay. And I'm like, there you go, guys. I fixed it. And they always <laughs> laugh because they're like, Dylan, this looks friggin' terrible. But good Oh, job. that's because you holder. still have a, a PC, huh? Or whatever you call it. I still have Windows, yes. Shoot. Hold on. I have to keep all my Windows open so that when I tag on our YouTube, I remember what to tag. Oh, okay. So I'm going to kind of forget most of the stuff that I was going to show you today, because I think that all of this nostalgia stuff is way more interesting. Yeah. The nostalgia trip, the nostalgia trip of the nineties. Ooh, So, so actually I was going to say, so uh, going back to the Pokemon thing at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So a big part of the nostalgia trips is um, Pokemon 
they've been releasing remakes of the original games as they've gone on like through through so much time like um red version i want to say it came out so they red red and blue were first then they made gold and silver which was the second generation then they made ruby and sapphire and with those ones they ended up remaking red and blue which they called fire red and leaf green which was like oh that's so cool like that was the fact that that was already a nostalgia trip was pretty pretty crazy yeah then they made these ones on the ds called diamond and pearl yeah Um, i was too old for that when those came out and i think when they did diamond and pearl diamond pearl and platinum they did um heart gold and soul silver so they remade the second games then they made like Pokemon Black and White, Pokemon Black and White 2, Pokemon X and Y. And I want to say it was around then that they remade uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So they remade the third games. Then they had like Sun and Moon and then the most recent one, Sword and Shield. And now they finally remade the fourth, fourth generation, which apparently that's when a lot of kids that are still into Pokemon nowadays when they picked it up because that's how young they were, that that was their first Pokemon game. And so these kids have been complaining for years that they never got, or they've never had their remake happen. Mm -hmm. And with the original games, when they did their remakes, they weren't a one for one remake. Like they didn't just put on new paint. Like they added on to the house. Like they, they put in little extra stuff. Uh huh. Um, this they game just put on some paint. They added on to the house. Yeah, they added on to the house. They were like, "Check this out. You can do this over here." We actually threw in some of the old Pokemon you couldn't get in those games. But what they released the other day, uh, from what I've seen on the internet, a lot of people are complaining about the paint job. And then not only are they complaining about the paint These job, analogies are confusing me. I'm trying to make it simpler for you. Yeah, they, they have a house. They want the house to look new. So, paint job. They don't like the paint job. Okay, so, they wanted to revamp the old games and make them look... They wanted them to, yeah, gorgeous. make them look newer and feel like the new games do. Wow. Uh, unfortunately, that has it doesn't look like that's happening because it looks like they're keeping the old school look and feel to it, mm-hmm. which quite a few of them have been complaining about. And then also... Um, from the words that we got the other day, it almost sounds like they're making it a one for one and they're not adding anything new onto it. Although it's way too early to tell, they've also been complaining about that. Now, who is like, they? What generation are you talking about? How old are they right now? I have no freaking clue. Um, let me see. When did... Gen X. I don't know. I can't. I wouldn't be able to specify. Or were they uh, calling Gen Z? I oh, don't fuck it. I, I, excuse me. I don't know. Um, so these games originally came out in 2006. Um, so yeah, I mean, that could be anybody from late 90s to early 2000s. Born in the late 90s? Yeah. So yeah, kids born in the late nineties or like right on the cusp of 2000. I'm not sure. Huh. I, they, those people don't bug bog. Those people don't bug me as much. It's people born in the two thousands that I'm like, not super a fan of. Can I show you something? Yes. Okay. I just looked up nineties toys. Oh gosh. So I took a trip down memory lane oh no the stupid dog you had Dude, one of those wait no i didn't i don't think no I no no no, no 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 up 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 one oh up one. the robo this dog is scary though that is the, scary the robo it's called a poochie Freaking i begged my dad <laughs> to take me to toys i want a poochie I, saved up. I wanted a my parents would let me get another dog so i wanted to get a digital dog 
a little robot dog. Because we had two dogs. To give me the satisfaction that I wanted in life. And my dad's like, that is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. You want, he a, was right. it's called a what? It's called a what? A poochie. It's called a poochie, dad. He's like, sorry, wow, yeah. bubbles. He's like, you want a poochie. You want a poochie. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Okay, let's go get you a poochie. And so we went and I, and, and then on top of that, I had to pretend like it was the best thing ever, even though I knew within five minutes of getting <laughs> it, this like was the worst purchase, freaking like $25 Classic. of my money. And that was a lot of money. Cause I didn't have a job that was like saved. I think we got maybe $5 a month or something or what our allowance. Was yeah. I like don't know. Low balled for the amount of chores that we did compared to our friends. Yeah, you really but, had to work for it. Or maybe it was five a week. Maybe it was No, five a week. I don't think it was five a week. That's a lot of money. Maybe it was like five That is a, a lot week. of... So I saved up for a good five months. And I wanted to get this poochie. And Wasted. then my dad made fun of me the whole time. The whole time we bought it. And he's like, yes, she wants to buy a poochie at Toys R Us. We're checking out. And I'm like, stop it. So we get home. I'm like... Stop it. It's going to be so cool and it. fun. It did nothing. It was not. But I think... I think... <laughs> One of my friends had one. It was probably, it was either Jennifer or Samantha. One of them had one and they're supposed to be able to talk to each other. So you put them oh, across gosh. from each other and they would talk to each other. And that was also exciting for all of two minutes. And then I was just like, this is the worst thing ever. I don't know where it went. I wish Nobody I does. So I could sell it <laughs> online. And then there were the Furbies, which oh. those were, we never had one. I know Jennifer had one. And then there was a whole thing where people were like, oh, they talk when they're not supposed to be talked to. And like, they're, they're yeah. like possessed. They're possessed. <laughs> well then, okay, wait, wait, wait. But then there, okay. So there were Tamagotchis, but Tamagotchis oh went really quick. And so as goes everything in my life. Knock off. Knock off. So yeah. I have the Nano Pet. Oh. <laughs> and they didn't even have dogs <laughs> left. So I had to get a cat. Which no offense to cat lovers, but I'm a dog. I'm a dog person. I like cats. I do enjoy them, but I like dogs more. I couldn't even get a freaking dog. Oh, but I did get a 101 Dalmatians nano pet at one point, and that was exciting. But even that, it, that was fourth grade, and they had to put a ban on kids bringing them to school <laughs> because you would be sitting there because we didn't have phones, so you'd be sitting there with your nano pet. Oh no, he's shit everywhere. I gotta clean up all this shit. Oh no. Oh, he's hungry. Oh no, now he's sick. A, B, C, D, E, F. Oh, he's still shitting. You're just like, dude, caring for these things was like, ugh. I was, I was so distracted at that time. I don't know how I passed fourth grade. I don't know how kids do it now. And then there was the the classic bop it and then of course beanie babies we can go down that rabbit hole a whole other time but i can't wait so i we have would need to have mom on for that one yes and mark my words if if pokemon cards are having a resurgence i want to say that beanie babies no. are gonna come up never I, I hope so because i hope that mom can make some money off of those things i really do um, oh troll dolls troll dolls i mean i mom never let us buy them so like we grew up in a a, a christian household and not that trolls were non-christian but things that looked like weird and mystical and like i don't know anything that just seemed a little out there we didn't usually play with which um, thank goodness they still were willing to trolls. buy me pokemon i don't know I yeah you got pokemon you also got pokemon really, yeah but i mean back in the day that was one of the big things that the, the 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 church the was against didn't like it? Oh, they evolution because oh, your pokemon right. evolved and they're like it's the devil and i was like shut up it's a, fucking, it's a video game get the hell out of here with that do you see me and worshiping them no i'm like yeah, yeah ember yeah tackle attack <laughs> i won't get too into like <laughs> the politics of it like i do have beliefs and i feel like confident and happy in what I believe in and I feel good and right with God that's between me and him and no one else but it is funny because the church that we attended especially but just like in the desert it was very like going to church on Sunday 
like Always one was late. just like it was like no but the people that went it was like oh it, yeah there was this element to it that was very much like the kids that went to school at that church were way more favored obviously mm -hmm. and you know you just kind of went in you kind of felt like an outsider but i mean we had some good pastors and stuff but just on top of it i don't know it just felt very for the look of things not that our parents weren't like that but there were other people that went and then the the trends that went on was what do the church parents hate this week this week it's pokemon yeah. then it was harry potter and like all of the church parents would get in their like little sewing circles and like I said, our parents weren't really a part of it. Like we were on the outskirts of it. So we would get the waves of it and certain things our parents would be like, okay. And then other things they were like, no, let's not do that. Yeah. But it's just so funny how church parents were like, yeah, no, no to Pokemon because of evolution. This doesn't mean that we believe in evolution and which my, my, my favorite thing was also the fact that like the, um, when the original Xboxes came out, Mm -hmm. like obviously you know it if you look now like i i assume all churches for like the youth groups and stuff have some video game console there to keep kids entertained mm -hmm. before and like after which that was that was like the only thing that i kind of enjoyed was i'd be like which maybe that's also why i always enjoy being early places i'm like hey let's go let's get there early so i can play games because they had halo which i also had at home Oh yeah, but you guys were allowed to play Halo and kill yeah. each other, but you weren't allowed to play Pokemon. Like, because <laughs> I remember you say one of the guys was doing like the ball dance over your so, face after so, he killed you. Yes. Oh man, I'm so excited. So, uh, back yeah, in the they day, had Halo tournaments. Back in the day, yeah, the high school, the high school group had Halo tournaments, and I want to say I was in middle school at the time when I went, um, but it was me and my friend rafer we got dropped off <laughs> sorry i oh. just woke herself up from howling in her sleep nice okay um so it was me and rafer and we went to this and we didn't realize we needed a team of four because it was four v fours because also back in the day when you wanted to play with people um xbox live and all of that like wasn't a thing really for consoles so you had to oh, yeah. you had to have LAN parties so you'd basically get <laughs> you would get the cables and you would all hook up to like one box or you would hook up to each other so that way they'd be able to talk to each other and you could play and yeah. so you go in this room and there are four stations with four TVs 16 controllers and everyone's just like oh yeah 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 and just talking playing and so we ended up getting paired up with two two other guys that came that didn't have a squad so it was me and Rafer and these two guys and um, yeah, Halo tournament. So I think we, we won our first round and we lost our second round. Um, and the round that we lost, we lost to the guys that took first place. Their team was called the fairy princesses. Oh, Lord. They were, they were the pink team. And that was the first time in my life in a video game that I ever got teabagged. <laughs> oh, bro. And all you did, and it's so funny because all you did was when you killed someone, you just walked over their body and you just crouched and then got up and you would just do that over and over again. And you just teabag their dead body. So on your screen, all you see is them just going up and down on you. And you're like, oh, no, no, it's not happening. Oh, but yeah. They used, they used to have, they used to have halo tournaments and all that back at, back at the church which the, I always got to, I, I still get a good laugh out of that. Cause it's like, yeah, like for all the things that, that they said, like, no to, that was one thing they're like, who cares? And I'm not saying that like all churches are bad. Like, I mean, I personally think it's really, I mean, I don't want to get into it too far, but I do appreciate churches that also like they have their services and already establish buildings that they don't need to pay all this money to make a freaking super church with a freaking li laser light show every weekend and it's like what are you tithing to are you tithing to keeping the power on while you're having a whole like christian concert on a sunday or are you actually tithing to things that matter and so also when like i got people anyway 
when I got, so when I first bought Halo, um, I don't think people cared too much about the ratings on games as much either. Cause no, <laughs> cause Halo was rated M for mature because there was curse <laughs> because there were cur- there was cursing in it and there was you know violence and gore and all of that. Yeah. Um, and I just gotten the original Xbox for Christmas that year. It was Christmas birthday present combined because I was born just in the month of December. So if I really wanted something, which that that became like the staple for me was if I wanted something really expensive, I'd be like, Hey, can you just make it combined? Um, and so oh yeah, got an Xbox Birthday for Christmas. Christmas. And I remember I still had some money from other relatives and mom, mom and dad were both just like, no, you don't need to go buy another game. Like you got a game with your console, which jets at radio future. Fantastic game. I still love that mm. game to this day. So good. Great soundtrack. Super awesome. Graffiti is art. However, graffiti is vandalism, which is a crime. That was the first line that showed up when you booted the game up. Um, it is art and it's a crime. But we, like, I basically bitched and moaned to mom enough that mom was like, okay, fine. It was New Year's Eve. And she's like, okay, fine. I'll take you to Best Buy. Run in, go buy a game, come back out, and then we're going home. But don't don't let dad find out and don't tell your father. That was the only time that ever happened. Don't let dad find out and don't tell your father. Yeah, you know, because because dad was always the one that would always say that. Like we'd go do something and be like, "Don't tell your mom." But yeah. that was that was the only time that it was mom that said that. So she took me to Best Buy. She stayed in the car. I ran in there. What? I checked the release date. Uh, the original Halo Combat Evolved came out in two thousand one in November. So that means I was ten years old when I purchased it. So I was, I don't remember if you have to be 17 or if you have to be 18 to purchase rated M they games. Let you purchase it? Yeah. So I ran inside. I'm looking at all these Xbox games and I'm like, oh, uh, I saw the Master Chief right there. Said, Halo, Combat Evolved. I was like, oh, that looks cool. Just grabbed that, ran up to the front. <laughs> like, you know, looking up, give it to the lady. She's just like, huh. And then she's like, oh, okay, your total is going to be uh, $60. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> and then I ran outside and I was like, oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> get in the car. Mom drives us home. First thing we do when we get home, pop that bad boy in, start playing it. Like right off the bat in the very first level, um, I think I think it's after – it's either when you're running to the bridge to meet Captain Keys or it's right after that. You yeah. hear one of the Marines go, oh, shit. And mom's like, what was that? And I was like, nothing. Nah, nothing's happening <laughs> nothing. here. <clears throat> nothing, mom. He was just like, oh, snap. Dude. And then that game just, yeah. That was a good game. It was a very good game. I found something um, during your story that I totally forgot that I had that made me literally the coolest kid in like third grade, second grade. Are you ready for this one? I don't know. See it. Do, 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 do. The Crayola calculator. Can we talk about that? <laughs> When I busted out this not-so box of crayons to do my math calculations and to maybe cheat on a couple of tests, no one knew the wiser. Look at that beauty. That was... Oh, my goodness. Pretty cool. (laughs) Angel, why do you have crayons on your desk? No reason. Mm -mm. Look, it even did times tables. I mean, that was... Pretty good. Yeah. So that We've that also a good time. that also reminds me of um oh. I don't remember when I went with you and mom to for, I don't even remember the name of the store, but I remember for some reason I really wanted a false book. And I bought huh. one. And it ended up being a great idea. A false book? A what? Yeah, like a it looked like a book, you'd open it up, but it was empty inside 
like you could hide stuff in there oh i feel like the <laughs> abbey used to sell those that's what it was the abbey so i bought one and i want to say it was like my freshman year of high school i would bring my game boy or my ds in inside of that book and so when i would finish the test at the end of the year that they had i would just take this book out i would open it up and then i just sit there looking like i'm reading <laughs> but the whole time i was just like playing my game boy or playing my ds it was awesome the 90s were a time i was gonna say also it wasn't until i think it, i was a senior i was a senior in high school when like the iphones came out and that oh, yeah. was like that was like the only time where we were really like we have like the easiest way to cheat ever because also people didn't like the most the most teachers thought of for cell phones was just kids texting each other to give them the answers yeah. because yeah. that was also when texting was becoming a big thing mm -hmm. but one kid in our class had an iphone and he was like he was the god among men because the god among we men. would we we would get separated in our physics class into two mm -hmm. separate rooms and he would pop that phone out because our teacher would walk back and forth for some reason i don't know why like that's just he was like you guys are too close to each other okay and uh i'm, I'm gonna make half of you go in this room and half of you stay in this room and so we we'd go into the room and yeah when he wasn't there this dude would pull out that phone and he'd be like all right guys let me look up the answers real quick and he would put it in because the first iphones had had the internet that you could access and an actual mm -hmm. screen where you could look at stuff and yeah like <sighs> then it was just then it was just a matter of that phone getting passed around the entire classroom it was crazy because i want to say in high school no i still had my i had a brick phone that did not go into i didn't have the internet until a few years after yeah no because um, we i'm pretty sure i because i still had that track phone from mom and dad when i was in middle school <laughs> and then i don't think i got an actual phone that had a texting pad until maybe like junior year but that was also because yeah. we were behind the times um but yeah then yeah like the first iphone came out when i was a senior and i was like oh whoa these are crazy you can do so much on these. Oh my God. It was like a freaking, I, I can't even, I can't even. Yeah. I was trying to find something else that was like really funny of, I'm like so obsessed with the nineties. <laughs> oh, oh wait. Oh my God. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. Wow. Rabbit hole, rabbit hole. Rabbit hole. Do you remember these things that it was like a little music player and it you was had, maybe about I did not have seconds. one. Yeah, of a song. I only had two. Bye, 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 bye. I don't right. want to be a fool for you. And it looked you. like, but Just I have the one that looked like a little two. boom box and it was so yeah. cute. And like, I, of course, it hung out with my Barbies. Which, you may hate me, but it ain't no lie. I have to have my friend on, I won't say her name, but Baby, bye, we bye, secretly bye. played Barbies oh, until geez. we were in high school. I feel like Barbies ended about our sophomore year of high school. And it was our secret. Like this was our <laughs> secret. We would go and hang out after school. We were getting our, you know, learner's permits in a year, but we were playing Barbies and this was our secret together. We were buying Bratz dolls. We were a little too old for Bratz dolls, but we were playing with them and it was fun. And we had a lot of fun. It was fun. What are 14 year olds doing now? Don't even get me on the sidetrack of what Travis Barker's daughter looks like. Yeah, they're over here doing meth before they hit grade school. They, uh, it is disturbing. I just can't stand teenagers. Anyway, <laughs> but do you remember? Oh, and the push pops and kids would like, suck a push pop into a shank do you see this i don't ever remember that 
You don't know. Dylan. We I've went been, to school with some gangster stabbed. kid. Well, I mean, I've been stabbed by pencils well, before no one would and stuff. Stab anyone? It was just oh, fun I got, to do. I got stabbed with by pencils and shit. Who stabbed you? Just other kids. It's okay. I had people bag me up. Oh my lord! Do you remember this thing? Hold on. Best Hold life on. online. Oh frick! Where did it go? God. You shouldn't have clicked this. This was a this was a trap. Oh. Yeah. No, no, no. I just saw it, but I just saw it. Hold on. No, this is a this was a trap website. They could they were feeling the nostalgia. Yeah, there's 50 of these. There's no it's not gonna happen. No, 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 no. It's coming up soon because it's not gonna come up soon. Hold on. This is a trap website. They feed off your energy and they're like, oh, oh, send them this, send them this. Then they'll accidentally click that VRBO link and then they'll be like, oh, you know what? We should take a vacation. Oh, oh, no, no. Nope, that was the okay. VRBO link. Begging your parents for a Nickelodeon radio. Did any of your friends have this? No. I feel like my friend Kelly had one of these. And you could wake up to all these different sounds. Were you into Nickelodeon? Not that much. <laughs> yeah, that was all you. Angela Anaconda. No, but like the '90s game shows, like the Amanda Show. The, no, no, no. The, I the found game out my shows. friend. I found out my friend was on the temple, the hidden temple of the whatever. Your you friend was one? on the hidden temple game. Yeah, no, that's what, one of the ones I was going to talk about. Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, my friend David was on that one. How old is David? He was he's on the, same, the Legends of the, the same Hidden age. Temple. Yeah, he was the same age as me. How was he on that? He was a child, a baby child. He was on this? He got on it, yeah. Tell him to pull his episode. Can we talk to him next time? Please? I mean, I'll I'll try and see what I can do, yeah. Please, can we talk to him? I'm adding this to my list. Please, can we talk to him? This is always one of the things that, like, somehow, if we ever get on this, he's like, oh, yeah, I was on the the Hidden Temple. And everyone's like, whoa, what? Please, let us have a conversation because that game was everything. They went through this one area with skeletons, and I was like, oh, I was so scared. I could never go through that. Mm -mm. Yeah, that game was freaking awesome. Legends of the Hidden Temple? Oh, my God. And the splat? Or what was that called? This one. The slime. I don't I don't know what that was called. Oh, the one where people get slimed. Like that one was so fun. We had we had game we had attention spans. We had game shows. We were so much smarter than the current yeah, generation. Game I'm shows sorry. For people kids. from the current generation are just gonna hate me. Like, look at this. What is this? It's a llama. Oh. Oh, Drake's on this. Matt. There's some oh, there's some like controversy about that one guy all those games double dare was that it double dare family double dare and the double dare was that was like one of the old like school ones one. oh there were some really fun ones i don't know we had a lot of a lot of fun times back then yeah no always made me jealous but that's because he grew up out here in florida in orlando which is where they filmed all this stuff. Oh. Yeah. So does Nickelodeon have a, or did they ever have like a theme park since Florida is the Mecca? Of I theme don't know. Parks? Yeah, I'm not sure. I wonder, cause there's a Nickelodeon studios in Los Angeles, but anytime, like there's two different places. There's one, there's a place in Hollywood, there's a place in Burbank. But both of them, when you drive by, I've always thought looked so much smaller than I would have expected them to. Mm-hmm. Or there, no, I think there's two places in Hollywood. But they both looked like really tiny. And I was like, this is it? This is yeah. Nickelodeon Studios? Like, this is where they shot all their stuff? I mean, all they need is like one or two warehouses, right? Yeah, but one of them looked more like an office building. One looked like maybe it would have one stage. And then the other one maybe would have two or three. But it didn't look like big stages where they could build a whole game show so they probably rented out something i don't know but yeah i was just very surprised but then disney is of course doing great as ever with their oh, yeah. clean persona that's why i liked nickelodeon because it was a little more out there they got away with more 
you know what was the what was the one show that had the the action figures the chicken the chicken one the action figures the action figures but it was like chicken robot chicken no mm. no 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 it was know. um They had the, they had a ska, they had a ska song as their like theme song. Let's see, action figure show, Kablam! Oh, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Or that was part of it. Hmm. And the Angry Beavers. Angry Beavers. That was a good one. That was pretty good, yeah. <laughs> and Rocco. Rocco's Modern Life. Yeah, so I feel like Nickelodeon treated us a little more like adults, where Disney just babied people. Probably, yeah. Like, I enjoyed Disney, but it was just too squeaky clean. And I feel like even just, you know, being expected to act a certain way as you grew up to be, like, these perfect, like, like, we didn't get it from our parents, but, like, at the church that we went to, just, like, how you had to, like, be a certain way and stuff. I just felt like when I would watch Disney, it's like, this is how you're supposed to act. And then Nickelodeon was, like, the reality of, like, no, this is how kids actually act we're weird and crazy and we aren't perfect and then for me i don't remember what year it was but when like the cable system like overhauled everything what's a cable? and cable oh I think it's and then we system. got and then we got um cartoon network mm. and then when we had cartoon network that was when i first saw like dragon ball z Oh yeah, and you, you hawk show, and then I was like, yes, that was, all and that was all the good stuff. stuff. Roni Kenshin, Tenchi Muyo. I don't know any of these things. Oh. Yeah, I know. And I'd sit there with my big stuffed Pikachu, and I watch, <laughs> I'd watch Toonami, because you wouldn't be home yet. Dylan, Dylan had this Pikachu that was this big. Who got that for you? Um. Not mom. I think it was uh, Lisa, Cammy, and Jared that got it for me. I was going to say, I feel like it was like, yeah. And it was this giant Pikachu, but it was a pillow. It was freaking that awesome. Was... So let's back up for a second. So, you know, every kid has like, you know, their stuffed animal that they carry around or whatever. Dylan and I were I really stuffed three. animal people. Like, well, you yeah, know. Because like I say, had... I have my pillow and my blanket. That's, that's a, yeah. Dylan had this baby blue blanket and this little tiny pillow and that was those were his two jams i had a big yellow blanket which i had since i had since i was a baby i got them from richard moreno everywhere oh i didn't know that's where he came from yeah i'm pretty sure that's what mom told me that he was the one that that him and the family got that for me and yeah those things thick and thin that's right mom better have those sealed up somewhere for me until pikachu came along then it was literally, if you went on Dylan's room on any given day, if he was playing his Game Boy, it was him. And guess who was sitting next to him on his bed? My Pikachu. Pikachu. Probably he was awesome. As if he's watching Dylan playing his Nintendo. And they're sitting there like, broing out. Didn't you put a shirt on him at one point? I don't think so, but I remember I feel like you put a shirt his, hands, his hands were like, they were stitched at, at like the, yeah. the palm to be on his chest and i was like no like he needs to be able to move his hands around so and so i had it? so i had mom do it for me so i wouldn't mess up and this one went clean this side there ended up being a little hole Aww. and so mom stitched it up and then i was like oh man he's just like me because in the fourth grade i had a mole that was removed and i still have the scar to this day when they told me it was going to be gone in like three to four months and so I have this scar that when I was little, I used to tell people as a joke, it was a third nipple. <laughs> um, but yeah, he had the same little like stitching scar. And I was like, oh, yo, we homies. 
you're you are homies yeah wait but it's funny you mentioned that wait because there is one thing from today that i wanted to share with you uh hold on is it the brand new pikachu stuff pikachu no, it has to do with you saying you pretended like it was a third nipple and i just want to see if i could find this ew okay uh, 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 uh. So That's gross. what people want to hear. Uh, okay. Are you so into all the Dr. Pimple Popper stuff? No. Okay. No. Uh, no. I don't know. For okay. some reason, I thought you would. No. I don't think it's funny. I, I don't. If people say that they like watching it, I instantly have thoughts about their judgment of character. Uh-huh. Okay, so what is this? Character. Okay, apparently... Harry Styles has four nipples. Ew! What's wrong with you? Sorry if anyone has extra nipples. I'm just saying this took, this was a shock to me. I've never met someone with extra ones. But they say that, um, hold on. According to this doctor from Mount Sinai Hospital, having extra nipples is not uncommon. The estimated rate of poly... Thelia varies widely. Not everyone with a super numery nipple even know they have one. So there's a ton of people that have them apparently. And they don't even know it. Are those them? Those look like moles to me. Hmm. I don't like... Ew, they are! Ew! <laughs> You also don't like feet. Oh, oh, you throw up. Why? Sorry if you have extra ones. It's oh, look, I'm not normal either, but oh, ew. Yeah, so rude. So that's why I would be like, oh man, I don't mm-hmm. want to tell people I have a scar on my chest. So I just told them it was a third nipple, and no, this was no. the reaction I would get. Oh. Yep. So rude. I, I had one ex-boyfriend that told me that he had a third one and I never believed him. And I was like, dude, that's a mole. But maybe he did have one. And in that case, you never saw it. Ew. No, I saw it and it looked like a mole. And I thought he was lying, but he said it was a third one. And I was like, that's a mole, bro. Stop so trying rude. to get attention. <laughs> but yeah. Anywho. Ew. Uh, is there a time that you're supposed to wrap these up or do we just keep going? I mean, if we can keep going, who cares? The 90s verse. I should ask Jennifer. She's out cleaning today. I should ask her if she wants to call in. One. Oh, I forgot you have all your stuff hooked up to your computer. So yeah, you just text from your keyboard. Huh. Well, let me see. I'll see if she wants to pop on. Because, yeah, she and I can talk for days about 90s stuff. Oh, here you go. Here's your, um, oh, frick. I always do that. Like let's like looking at all of the um the Game Boys. Yep, there was my Game Boy right there. There was yours. I had this one, the purple one. You had the blue one, right? Yeah. I gave you my purple one, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I gave it back to you. Mm, Because you wanted to finally beat Zelda. It might be at mom's, maybe. So you know what we should do. I should ask mom if she would be willing to send me one of those pink tubs in the garage that's full of all of our 90s toys. And I can dump half of it, like blindly dump half of it into a box to ship to you, right? Uh So we both have stuff to unbox and pull out. Like I'll just, or I'll ask Will, be like, just shove half of this into another box. I know all of my toys. But she has a couple that came in bins and it was stuff that we both 
used. I know for a fact, I remember these tubs that she had and it was a mixture of just like action figures and toys and stuff that we both played with. But I should see if she would be willing to send it to me. Yeah, I had my I had all my I'll pay for the shipping and then I'll ship you half of it. My Power Rangers do an unboxing. and my Dragon Ball Z action figures, and my Transformers and my Beast Wars. Wait, can we talk about really quickly? Hold on. I want to address something. Speaking of Power Rangers. How the Pink Ranger was the best one. How racist this was. <laughs> I feel like I don't even have to say anything. You the Power really Rangers don't. was so racist. I don't have to say a word. I'm not going to say a word. The Power Rangers was racist. Just check it out. But I will say the Green Ranger. Everyone liked the Red Ranger, but I was watching. Okay, there's this show called like the Bling Dynasty or something on Netflix right now. And one of the girls is dating the Red Ranger, but I don't think. Ew, is that what they look like now? Those are the originals. So this girl must be dating a knockoff of the Red Ranger. Hold on. Oh, one of the other ones. Hold on. So these are the OGs. Oh, Kimberly still looks good. Where's the Yellow Ranger? Is she alive? No, she passed away. I don't remember <gasps> what year that was. Yeah. She died? I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry, Yellow Ranger. We should do a whole episode about that. Wait, ooh, then and now? Wait, hold on. Look at this really quick. See, you are you get caught in these... These terrible like I just want to see Rita. Hold on. Why That's don't you just Rita, Google right? you should just Google Rita Repulsa then? Make my monster grow. Is that what she said? Yeah. Where is she? I don't see anything now. Why are you in Google Images? Because it's safe. Check it out. If you go to you should go to IMDB to find out her real name. Rita from Power Rangers. Oops. Hold on. What is this? Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but where is our girl? So there's the cast. Rita Repulsa, Barbara Goodson. All right, let's see, Rita. Show your face. Show yourself, Rita. That's Rita? That's Rita. Oh. What's that? Oh. Oh. Huh. I Google for a living. That's what I do. Good for you, Rita. I thought Rita was a Latina. <laughs> Didn't she look like one? <laughs> She looked like a badass Latina. Like she was about to like. She was a badass Cholo con and uh, shit, fuck some shit up, f some s up. Um, Red Ranger Bling Dynasty. Hold on. So you haven't watched the show though, right? No. Okay. I've never so, even heard of this. The Bling Dynasty is about all of the like. Have you seen Crazy Rich Asians? No. Oh my god, that movie's so good. So it's basically like the crazy rich Asians of Hollywood, mm -hmm. like the real ones. And one of the girls is dating this dude that used to be the Red Ranger. So Anthony Gray, hold on, let's look up this. Term. Oh, is that the guy? Andrew this Gray? This dude is a P-O-S, Andrew Gray Red Ranger. Screw this dude. We do not like him. Ew, he wasn't even in like a cool outfit. What is this? He's like, what, the newer ranger? No one cares about you. Hi, Andrew, whatever your Somebody does. name is. No one cares about you. You're irrelevant. I'm more relevant than you. That's how irrelevant you are. <laughs> what is this outfit? So that's this a, That's his Power Ranger outfit. This fart knocker in one of the episodes. Fart knocker, huh? 
I'm trying to be nice. He likes not he likes the scrum. He 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 looks like he would bury his face in scrum all day long. Hey yo. He okay. Shout so, out to my man Andrew. The girl that he was dating in the Bling Dynasty. Mm-hmm. In one of the episodes, and I'm aware reality TV sets things up, but in one of the episodes, his girlfriend goes out to go shopping with one of the ladies while they're in like Paris or something. And he calls her and he starts screaming at her on the phone, like freaking out, throwing a temper tantrum. And she, she's just, she's like making these excuses for him. It's really sad, but I'm like, dude, this guy is a loser. Hold on, let me see if I can find this. Frippin', frippin', freaking. It's so hard not to curse. Probably got to, yeah. Flippin' loser. I'm trying to find. I just want to find him yelling at her. Andrew Gray. I just want to find the clip. Everyone wants to know if they're still together. I guess they're together, but he is a POS. What was this on? Bling Dynasty. No, what? what? Like Netflix, Hulu? Uh, Netflix. Abusive to girlfriend. Do you remember what episode? Um, it's like the third one or something. He's basically, it's just, it's like, it's just so embarrassing. Like he's Bling yelling Empire? at her because she went out without him. Yeah, Bling Empire. Maybe it's on the trailer. I'm trying to. Jennifer's not hitting me back. So I don't think she wants to attend the show. I'm trying to find the, um trailer here it's a really good show though like it's just so interesting like these people on here i value that a lot they're just unrealistically rich i don't know i can't find it but you gotta watch it for yourself yeah i'm like trying to I don't know why I can't even find a clip. Seeing Asian people with a lot of plastic surgery is very, (laughs) it's a new thing for me. I don't think I've ever seen it before. I'm always, I'm used to seeing like old white, old white people with lots of plastic surgery or Hispanic people. Yeah, I can't pull it up. Anyway, well, I want to end this with one funny thing that has nothing to do with the 90s, if that's okay. Go for it. Okay. So as we all know, one of my favorite podcasts is the H3 podcast. You're welcome. And every Friday they go live. And if you are a Poopa Troopa, you know, making like the minimum monthly donations. Um, You can watch them live and you can comment on their discord, which is really cool. But they always have a joke about how on Fridays, they're always a little bit late to their live broadcast. And so um, a little fun known fact is that um, Ethan, one of the, you know, it's Ethan and Hila are the two uh, hosts and Ethan has this obsession with wiki feed and the people that follow him. He's the number you know, one the rated. The people in his army are, they're called foot soldiers <laughs> and he is foot the clan. number one rated. He is like a seven point something out of five on wiki feet. And the way that they get revenge on people that have done Ethan wrong or that they don't like is so that they, they ruin them, on them bad on wiki feet. Like, there's some feud going on with David Dobrik. Honestly, <laughs> do not care about this man at all. It's really hard to watch everything because I'm like, I don't find this dude interesting. He's not interesting to listen to or look at. Who cares? But he's got bad feet. 
That's all you need. They that's went, all you need to they know. They went after David Dobrik. He had like a four or something. I don't know. He had like a, a decent rating, and they took him all the way down to a one rating. And that is their way of getting revenge on people. He's like, foot soldiers attack, and they go and they rate them bad. So, Ethan is Ethan is the shredder. <laughs> it is so funny. So they were a little bit late, right? To to um casting yesterday. Mm -hmm. And so this happened. I don't know. Did you watch it at all yesterday? No, I haven't seen it yet. Let me. Let me. Sh I, I always forget to share the sound. Okay. Hold on. Ready? Yep. If it'll play. Hey, I was a little bit late today. A little bit. And all y'all are talking in the live chat about tanking my wiki feed as um <laughs> as punishment. Okay. When the. <laughs> So Has it been 30 upset. seconds? Can I curse? Yes, okay, right. When the S right. hits the fan, are you still a fan? Right. Right. I come, I show up a minute so late and y'all talking about tanking my wiki feet. I mean, come on. Where's the loyalty? He, you have to keep in mind, he is so proud of his wiki feet rating. Like, any time that they start to go against anyone on the internet, he's like, What's your wiki feet rating? I'm a seven point blah 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 out of five. That's like if it was a ten, I would be like a da 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 out of ten. <laughs> He's got the and best now, feet. Now his people are talking about like it's like when the people get too powerful. Now even though he was like a little up. late, they start to rise up and talk about docking his points. The foot soldiers are gonna turn against the foot king. The foot soldier army, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 15 minutes 15 late, minutes fine. Minutes late. What if I... Wait, 15? Or 50? Who cares? Wait, did they say 15 or 50? Because I didn't actually watch this live one. I was really sad. I don't know. They just may have been 50. Okay. Maybe I deserve a... I think point. you deserve a tank. One point one, maybe. But I was doing something. I, I was preparing was to I make the show I stand with the tank. Stop Stop it. Yeah, How dare you? Late. You stand with it's the not. tank. I feel like if it was 15 minutes, that's not that big a deal. That they would have tanked him. Or if I feel like if it was, it was 50, minutes, 50 they oh. if it was 50, they would have tanked him. It was 15. They, they absolutely would have tanked him. But I was just dying. <laughs> about the like... piece of love your ass would talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. So unpresidential. Yeah, no. He's <laughs> he's a man among men. Man, there's so much drama in the news. I can't even. He's got great keep... feet. Yeah. So then he goes back to that. But like, I was dying. I was like, dude, when your people start to rise up against you, that... <laughs> you better keep that wiki foot rating. You better start coming on time, buddy. <laughs> he's got to start doing his feet up more. Make sure he keeps that rating. Well, because, yeah, their whole thing on David Dobrik. Let's look on wiki feet. Oh, man, well, you now want to look on wiki feet? Search. I hate feet. She really hates feet. I really don't like it's, feet. It's really great. I don't uh, know why. Uh, uh, David. I don't even know how to spell this fool's name. It's not even like coming up in the search. I don't know how to spell it. How do you spell it? D A V I D space. Do. D O B R I K. Sure. Sounds good enough to me. Oh, wait, hold on. It keeps changing it to David Debris. <laughs> Nothing comes up for him. What, on wiki feet? Mm -mm. I like how I type in wiki feet, and the first thing that pops up is Ethan and H3H3. He, he's not coming up either. I don't think you're looking at the, the right wiki feet. It? Apparently not. So many pictures of his feet on here. <laughs> what? Wait. So many pictures okay. of his feet. <laughs> Wait, so day. Oh, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But look, look at this. Look at this. Look at Ooh, this. Oh, yeah. No, he's only at a 6.86 out of five right now. Oh, they did dock him then. Because look, David Dobrik, they took him Ew. down to a one out of five. <laughs> So what happens when you mess with the Foot Clan, man. Like, look at how people just like they'll look, they will search for this stuff. Like, that is so gross. They got Tom Holland's feet. I saw that at the bottom. Oh my god, hold on.
Am I spelling that right? <laughs> you gotta find six point right. eight five. So he was a seven, and scroll now scroll down. He's a 6. Scroll down. Scroll down a little more. <laughs> There's, there's one picture in particular I want you to pull up. That's pretty great. All right. It's the one with him and Hila with uh, the writing on this his feet. One? Yeah. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Dude, he has lost weight from this keto diet he's on. Because look at his face there. And if you see the last episode, he's looking a lot thinner. Like right there, he's looking a, a little jolly. Ew, look at this. Do that crust, that foot cr- <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I didn't even notice that. Why That's you how you know you have an army of foot soldiers is when your people are rating feet that look like that as a 6.85 out of 5. How do you get a 6.85 out of 5? Ew! <laughs> 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 Why do you keep clicking on it? <laughs> Click it or stick it. I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> Ten. He's got a nice foot. Oh fuck, it keeps doing sorry, it keeps like going all the way back. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> the best part are all the angles he's got on his feet. <laughs> He's got all the best poses. It's my man. What is this? Ew. Ew. Why does it look like a freaking flipper? That's because he's got a long foot. Ew. Ew. That's a solid, like, size 11. (laughs) Size 11 foot right there, if I had to guess. I'm thinking he rocks a size 11, 11 and a half shoe. That was pretty great. That was all the beanies he stacked. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to get... Like, what? what is this? This is his feet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. This one's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> That go dump, that dump truck. <laughs> whoa, 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 there's comments. Up? There's comments. Hold on, go oh, down. Yeah. What, what are the, the comments? comments say? Oh. One out of five being late really makes feet look so unattractive. unattractive. <laughs> One out of five. Yeah, somebody tried to somebody tried to lower him right there. I'm here to lower <laughs> the score for being 15 minutes late with peace and love. Wait, wait, where is that? Wait, where is that? They're right there. Can you not read it? Oh, wait, I'm here to lower the score for being 15 minutes late with peace and love. love. Wait, so they did. They lowered it. Not sure why everyone's freaking out. These feet are clearly the feet of an everyday American. Sure, there are some trolls, but please don't invalidate my fupa love. I love these feet. (laughs) I admit the guy's behavior in his picture seemed bizarre, to say the least. Someone who clearly doesn't know. I don't know who he is, and I've never heard of his name, but for a large man, and when he wasn't as heavy, his feet seem like they have a nice shape. I wouldn't say they're horrible, but they're okay. I'm not sure why this person seems to attract a lot of negativity. It just seems odd. This is a real foot person. Vile Man 2000. <laughs> We're... Okay, hold on. That's pretty great. His fan base has also kink shamed the users of this website by saying that we have no right to look at these photos without celebrities' permission, so they have a right to mess up the rating system. Dance, look here, dance dance, 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 dance. They can mess up your rating all day. Stop taking your feet so seriously, you strange human. Little feet. <laughs> Where is little feet? I can't. L- no, not little. Lil. Oh, little, little feet. feet. It's, it's like, like the saying the goes. Same... Go ahead. Another man's trash is another man's treasure. This page right here is our treasure. Keep your negativity out of this page. Shake my head. <laughs> I just love the whole foot soldiers thing. It's literally my favorite. Dear Lofi, excuse me, please keep out <laughs> of our treasure. 
Change your comment. News alert. There's News many alert. more treasures in life than this. If you've not noticed, you're endorsing a mockery of this entire site. Not even so-called celebrity on here is five stars. Get real. SMH. Let's blacklist that user. What does that mean? We just don't see their things. That would be my guess. Yeah, see, look at that. User rated. Ugly feet. This guy's got ugly feet. He's just mad. You sound no, that's what he like rated. Like I think that's what he rated the feet. Oh, this user rated ugly feet. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. People. Okay. If you like feet, I really want to hear from you down below. Cause I feel like it's weird. And actually, if you want to come on here and explain to us why you like feet, I would love to know. Cause feet freak me out. I feel like. Well, it's, it, it, so here's the thing. It's probably the exact opposite of whatever happened to you with feet. Whatever happened with you to make you absolutely happened dis- to me. something happened You're to make gross. you despise feet. Yeah. Why are you assuming I had some tragic thing? I just don't like them. I feel like we should have Barbie feet, no nails, just like little Barbie. No, that's feet. that's the thing though. Is it's always it's always some sort of trauma. There's always no some trauma. sort of trauma. There's Look, some sort of trauma. Watching too much Whitney Cummings. I don't have any freaking all, trauma it's your ancestral it's your ancestral like trauma <laughs> something about it makes you not like feet and they're on the other end where they're just like their ancestral trauma makes them go trauma. feet need like to be feet. buttered up put in that pan put a little salt and pepper on it and i will devour that foot ew do you like feet no i'm just good at describing things Aww. feet or feet who cares i'm fine with like like i don't mind if people are barefoot we just don't need to talk about it. We don't need to recognize it. We don't need to look at it. Like, take care of them. Freaking, like, trim your toenails and stuff. But, like, we don't need to, like, acknowledge them. You can be barefoot and run around. I don't care. You could have black bottoms of your feet from walking in the dirt. I don't care. But I'm pretty sure you care. Let's just not talk about it. I'm pretty sure you care. I just don't want to talk about it. I don't want to rub them. I don't want to look at them. You're talking about them right now. Mm-mm. <laughs> we've been going a long time today we have i feel like i could talk all day but i don't know if people want to listen to us talk all day who cares people get really upset though on his wiki feet well people get upset everywhere it's the internet that's that's just what happens that is the internet yep but i feel like this is a good place for us to rest our case for the day all right time to pop those shoes off let those feet breathe Mm-hmm. We didn't get to our regular scheduled content, but I feel like that is the best kind of episode where we just derailed and went where we yep. wanted to go. Off the I rails, I nostalgia trip. Today, this was great. <laughs> I told you, I'm a, I'm a riffer. You just put me in there, and I'll just make shit up. There you go. Wait, which? Okay, so thank you for watching the sixth episode of Relatable. The sixth yeah. episode. That's that's uh that's a month and a half. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. That's Thanks pretty good. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, do the thing. Go down, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we have our new episodes. Like, and um, I believe next starting next week we're gonna start releasing these on Monday because of the algorithms. Man, we gotta listen to the algorithms. So, thanks yeah. for watching. That was yeah, thank episode you. six of Relatable. Relatable. That's all I got. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Get out of here. Turn it off. <laughs>